Well, let me just start this video by saying I am so grateful that the temperatures have gotten a little bit cooler so I could actually come outside and get some stuff done. It's been blazing hot here in Florida and I've literally done only the absolute bare minimum outside. It's literally been run outside, feed the dogs, feed the chickens, uh, make sure everybody's waters are working, um, and then back inside for the day. Um, so I am thankful to be outside working this evening. It's beautiful out. We just had a nice rain, actually not even that humid. So, well, hey y'all, welcome to the Gramstead. I am standing in front of my garden gate right here. I'm gonna take y'all through it um, so y'all can get a look at what my garden looks like, right, looks like right now. You will not believe it. Um, so, or maybe you will believe it. Maybe your garden looks like this too. And you know what? It's okay. <laughs> So let's go take a look. <laughs> As y'all can see, my garden right now is a messy, overgrown, full of grass disaster at this point in the year. Look at all this grass, y'all. Everything is just really overgrown. I did dig up some sweet potatoes right here the other day, so that's the only clean spot in the garden. <laughs> but here's my papaya tree that died in the freeze last year. came back beautifully. But everything is just really overgrown. This whole fence line is Biden's Alba and dog fennel. These were some zinnias and zipper peas where my tomatoes used to be. It's just a literal mess in here, y'all. This was okra and peppers. Well, there you can see these peppers. These are the Florida Wild Grove peppers. I've been busy making hot sauce lately. But y'all can see how bad this is. You can't even see my rose anymore. That was zipper peas. Now it's a bunch of grass. My roselle looks beautiful. It has not really had any blooms on it all at all, so no fruit yet. I do have some sweet potatoes over there, but would y'all look at this mess. Got a trellis that fell down. <laughs> all these tall weeds, these are taller than me. They're looking pretty. Banana trees are looking great. I need to separate them. <sighs> but look, you can't even see the garden rose. Everything is officially covered in grass and dead and just spent. These peas look great. That made a beautiful ground cover. That is a great chop and drop plant. So I'll definitely be utilizing this and now is actually a great time because there's not really a whole lot of seed pods on here yet. I have seen a couple, but it's right at the flowering stage. So I'm not gonna chop it up and put a bunch of seeds in there. I do have one bean right there. Crazy. Look at that. It's awful. So at this point in my garden, I'm really feeling like drastic times call for drastic measures. And um, I don't normally spray stuff in my garden and I don't normally till my garden. Um, this garden has actually been no till for about six years now. And you can see it, it has not gotten my weed problem under control yet. So um, I'm gonna try a little bit of a different approach um, this time. 
I, I don't want to do that much work right now. So what I'm going to do is I found a, an Omri listed weed and grass killer. It's made by Dr. Earth. No affiliation here at all, but it had really good reviews and it was going to show y'all what the jug looks like. I'm going to spray it on the grass and the weeds and see if it even puts a dent on it. They're so thick. Um, what I'm going to plan to do is just till after I spray, I'm going to till the walkways and all the way around the perimeter where stuff is just really, really, really thick. Um, I'm going to uninstall my trellises and then I'm going to buy some new covers for the garden. So I got to get this stuff under control. You can see it's really, really bad. So I'm going to get to spraying. Hopefully we'll see if it works. All right, I'm going to give y'all a closer look at this label. You can see it's Omri listed. Cinnamon oil, clove oil, rosemary, sesame, thyme, and then the base is glycerin, lecithin, and water. And so I guess the question is, is where on earth do I start? All right, we'll see how the weeds and the grass look in the morning. Well, hey y'all, it's the next morning. Um, so I'm about to walk into the garden and see if the weed and grass killer spray did anything. The grass was pretty thick, so I'll be surprised. Let's the check it out. right here was really thick and really green. So I really think it did a decent job. I also sprayed it over here pretty good. <clears throat> And you can see, I mean, there's a lot more brown in there now, so. All right, I've got a ways to go, but there is hope. I got the rows that are in the middle all cleared out and they are ready to get tarped. So uh, I'm gonna keep on going. See that big old pile? That was what came out of that center section right there. Um, but I still have a ton of cleaning to do, so I'm gonna keep going. I really think I would have to spray an absolute ton of it for it to even put a dent in this garden. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is just let my sheep in here and then figure out what to do next. <laughs> They're already distracted just coming in through the door. Y'all come in, there's lots to eat.